Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. For more than 60 years, the B-52 Strato Fortress has been a standard bomber aircraft. giving them the power to outmaneuver geopolitical competitors. From Operation Desert Storm in the 90s and Operation Inherent Resolve in 2016, there have been several occasions where a grounded B-52 aircraft has had to take off as soon as possible. There could be instances where a military base is under threat, or a dangerous situation arises requiring air support, where grounded aircraft may have to take off quickly. This endeavor requires pilots to resort to what they call scrambling. This exercise involves picking up the gear required in flight and hurrying toward their aircraft, where they await further instructions. The purpose of a B-52 scramble and full-throttle takeoff is to get the B-52 airborne to avoid an immediate threat and prevent large disasters caused by grounded aircraft. Its eight Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines facilitate a maximum takeoff weight of 488,000 pounds. Including approximately 70,000 pounds of mixed ordnance externally. Essentially, the aircraft was purposed to launch up to 25 nuclear-tipped cruise missiles on target from hundreds of miles away. For the B-52 to be readily airborne in about 10 minutes, the airmen typically use the cart start method. As the name suggests, the cart start involves using small cartridges of controlled explosives inserted into two of the B-52's eight engines. This can produce a lot of smoke due to unburned fuel. But it efficiently saves over an hour on a B-52's start time. When preparing for a flight, the airmen prepare the necessary flight equipment. Then they proceed to get an understanding of the mission and receive a weather and pre-flight brief. Their preparation can also include going over the complete checks of the avionics system and the alignment of the navigation system. To execute this launch procedure, the flight crew, together with the crew chief, scrambles to the plane, where they remove pre-flight check flags and then enter the aircraft. After the cart start, the remaining engines are started while the aircraft taxis to the runway, ready for takeoff. To proceed further with the scrambled takeoff, the aircraft would be placed in the best position on the run to reach takeoff speed quickly. This positioning is critical, as the jet takes off within 10 minutes at full engine thrust.
Once it is time, the pilot engages the throttle on the engine, and the B-52 stays relatively horizontal during its climb profile. The wheels of the B-52 are designed to pivot, increasing maneuverability on the flight line. During the flight, the radar navigator and the aircraft navigator are seated behind and below the cockpit. The necessity for scrambling and preparedness around the clock comes from unpredictable security circumstances. One such event involves an unsafe and unprofessional intercept of the USB-52 bomber by Russian aircraft over the Black Sea. At approximately 11.19 a.m. on August 28, 2020, Two Russian Sukhoi Su-27 flanker fighter pilots intercepted a U.S. Air Force B-52 conducting routine operations in the Black Sea over international waters. The Russian pilots flew within 100 feet of the B-52's nose multiple times at the same altitude. The concept of aircraft interception is when one aircraft moves up to another aircraft. Military aircraft are often required to intercept an unknown aircraft. These aircraft are not in communication with the appropriate air traffic control agency or have departed from their filed flight plan. Interception is easily likely if these unknown aircraft have entered national airspace without explicit or implied permission. For instance, NATO has deployed additional fighter jets to the eastern part of their allied territories to safeguard the skies since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. There are several training exercises conducted to simulate these military interceptions. On April 5, 2022, the Eurofighters, consisting of the Italian Air Force and the UK Royal Air Force, along with the Romanian Air Force F-16 fighters, took to the skies over Romania to perform a mock interception of a Romanian C-27 transport aircraft. During this exercise, a Romanian C-27 aircraft flies above Romania, with a UK typhoon intercepting the plane. Soon, Italian Typhoon fighters joined in the interception exercise. Afterward, the two Typhoons started flying in formation with the C-27 and a Romanian F-16. During this phase, the pilots established some form of communication as a major part of the exercise. Finally, they gently break away from the intercepted aircraft in a shallow dive once the communication is complete. This exercise is part of the NATO air policing mission to protect the skies against air traffic that does not comply with international rules and standards. Across the Atlantic, the U.S. Air Force conducts a similar interception exercise over the Gulf of Guinea. Involving a B-52 Strato Fortress and an F-15 Eagle Fighter.
The F-15 fighter receives the necessary information about the target aircraft. Our standard homestead runway uh, from 90 degrees, the uh, standard alert uh, 17 Alpha. Uh, including its flight status, coordinates, and altitudes. He takes off towards the aircraft using an established protocol. To make initial contact, the F-15 will rock its wings and flash its navigation lights at irregular intervals. This signals to the B-52 that it has been intercepted. And it also responds by rocking its wings, flashing its lights, and then following the intercepting jet. This demonstration is done in ordinance with the Advanced Battle Management System, ABMS on-ramp. The ABMS is an interconnected family of systems where data is brought into a cloud-based space by different sensors. This system allows the operators to make quicker decisions in a congested and contested space. In addition to interceptions, the United States forces use F-15s for intense dogfighting practice. During this air combat maneuvering, military aircraft fly at low altitudes to train their crews for nap of the earth combat flying. The F-15 jets peel off 3,000 feet from each other at altitude to indicate the start of the dogfight. They can maneuver sideways and launch flares as a countermeasure to divert incoming missiles. The pilot must learn the important skill of looking around the canopy of the jet as they fly and keep an eye on the advancing enemy. The skilled pilot can be seen maneuvering through the bright blue sky after takeoff. Casually flying over the training base with his opponent flying parallel to him. It is important that Air Force pilots keep their eye on the enemy in an air-to-air -air battle while anticipating what their opponent will do next. This means that they will be able to fly the jet without constantly checking the controls and the heads-up display. Pilots can traditionally engage in air combat with a similar aircraft. However, air-to-air -air combat is extremely complex. And often involves different types of fighter jets. The United States has, over the years, improved its aerial combat training by incorporating dissimilar air combat training. They incorporated this training after a disappointing loss in the Vietnam War. Indeed, the evolution of aerial combat has witnessed a dramatic change in recent years compared to the mid-20th century. From tactical changes to technological advances, every nation, including the United States, has devised various means of protecting its airspace by advancing its aerial military prowess.
That's the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you in the next video.